Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today we are going to check out the game called Eliza. Alright, so uh, wait, give me a moment. I forgot what's the game about. Give me a moment. So it's I think it's about uh, okay, it's a visual novel. Alright. Where it's technically about uh uh counseling or something, okay? So uh yeah i have no i mean i have no real experience when it comes to counseling well a bit just a little bit when i was in high school and i went to counseling all right because they deemed my behavior of not attending school a uh, troublesome problematic all right <laughs> But it's just that I got a lot of uh, things going on on my plate and, and everything at once, you know. Like everything is just life changing at that time. So for me, it was just annoying. I, I'm just an, an, a, a teen, an NC, an NC teenager. Yeah, yeah. So right now, um, yeah, let's just play this game. I'm pretty excited. New game. You can pick up a. Uh, okay. Chapter 1 I had a dream this morning, but I can't remember what it was. Okay. It all vanished when the alarm went off. Of course, normally dreams don't stay. I mean, we don't, we don't remember the dreams. First time that's happened in a while. I've been drifting away inside my own world for too long. Oh. It's time for me to wake up. Oh, what are you supposed to do on the light rail? Uh, use your phone, I guess, or look around. Uh, okay, I guess that's the only two that we can interact. Is she sleepy? <laughs> Okay, uh, so v our name is Evelyn. We're controlling Evelyn. What the F is this? <laughs> Solitaire, imagine. Let's see the mail. Wait, what? Uh, you will do it. I believe in you. Uh, okay. Uh, what is this? Proxy Coordination Center. You're taking the first step. Reading career. Please show up promptly. Uh, proxy that the Eliza Counseling Center. Oh, we are working at count. We are working as a counselor. Is it? Avalon Fitness will sit with notice. Uh, uh, we get it. That's why, if you check in again, <laughs> oh my God, imagine. Uh, what should I do? Uh, what is this? I don't. I should delete it. Should I delete it? Oh, okay. Very sad. Zip chat. Never mind. What is this? <laughs> okay. Now I don't know what to do. Oh. Can I move around? No, I don't think so. Okay. It's so strange to see it like this. Okay, what should I be? Should I be checking? Wait, that's the woman I met at the orientation meeting last week. Hi, you're Evelyn, right? You remember me? That's impressive. There were a lot of people at that orientation. Of course. I've done this for a while now, so I'm pretty good at putting names to faces. People always say they're bad at it, but it's a skill you can practice just like any other. In case you forgot, though, I'm Ray. Come to me with all your questions, comments, complaints, whatever. And if you look around and can't find me, I'm probably at one of the other two counseling centers I'm running right now. So you can count on me being back soon. Three centers? Sounds like a lot of work. 
Oh, it is a lot of work. This is kind of a temporary thing. We're growing fast, and hiring is one of our big challenges. That means there's decent opportunity for advancement here, if that's something you're looking to do. Interesting. How about not the desk go to no? Interesting. <laughs> Shall we start with a quick tour of the office? I feel people already waiting for their counseling you sessions. Can say the Queen Anne office is Eliza's flagship location. It has 12 individual counseling rooms. Currently, we're up to seeing almost 100 clients a day here. What the? A hundred a day? That's so many. But huh? this trend isn't stopping either. Demand for Eliza keeps exceeding our expectations, especially here in Seattle, for whatever reason. We're already looking at adding more capacity here. Either that or opening another location close by. Personally, I think having a single office with 24 counseling rooms might seem a little unfriendly. So I hope we go for a second location. I like to think of Eliza centers like cafes or coffee shops. A few small ones is better than one big one. Hmm, I guess so, yeah. I guess so. Odd metaphor. <laughs> Very late swing to one of the counseling rooms. And here's where the magic happens, in these little rooms. You'll get your assignments from the Eliza app on your phone. Oh, one thing to note, it's always a good idea to double check the headset to make sure it's working properly before you dive in. We've had some mm. quality control issues lately. What After the that, eh? all you need to do is initiate the session and follow the instructions. Make sense so far? Any questions for me? Wait, are we work? I oh, wait. I'm, <laughs> I have so many. Questions, but I can't even do anything else. Like what? <laughs> I think I got it. Great. Uh, hopefully it doesn't. Before listen. I go, just a few reminders of things we covered in orientation. No deviating from the script that Eliza gives you. No checking your smartphone or anything else that would take your attention away from the client during the session. Oh my god. I remember. It looks like you're dressed acceptably as well. Nothing snazzy, but it'll do. You wouldn't believe the outfit some people come in here wearing. Okay, let me double check to make sure you're all set up in the system. Yep, looks like you're all good to go. Okay, ready to start your first counseling session as an Eliza proxy? I guess so. Sure. Don't worry, there's basically nothing you can do to mess it up. You just follow the prompts. It's a really impressive system. If you want, have a look around the counseling office first. Get comfortable. I'll check in with you afterward. Okay. Interesting. Wait. I hope spring comes soon. <laughs> Do I want a coffee? Uh... I think that's it, right? Give me a moment. Proxy. Welcome. Alright. As a proxy, you serve as a personal touch that allows our clients to hear what they need to hear. Not a robot like our competitors. Ah. So it's like, even though we don't need, and like, you know, we don't need a, how to say, a psychologist, a degree in psycholo uh, psychology or something to be a counselor all right because we we just need the ai to help prompt us on what to do and what to say right continue i want to please avoid i know it's tempting to come to conclusions on your own hmm. interesting it was always this kind of situation right when they said stick to the script stick to the script and then we will have one ending where we will just not stick to the script <laughs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> okay, a distant looking man shuffles and sits down across from me. Oh, it's an AR headset. Hello, Hello there. Darren. Hi. You found the place okay? Yeah. Hope you didn't get rained on too much. 
No, it was fine. It's been raining a lot, hasn't it? It's supposed to clear up later today. Oh, uh, that's good. A little sun once in a while. Darren, what brings you here today? Well, uh, I just feel empty inside. Like there was supposed to be something there, but and it's missing. I, I, go, I go to work, I, I do my work, I go home, but there's nothing there. Hmm. I feel like I'm simulating a person. Like, I, I feel like just hollow and like I'm not even alive. Like a ghost or something. How long have you felt this way? For a long time. And it comes and goes, but the last two weeks is when it really started to get bad. It just suddenly came over me the way, you know, the way things are going in this world. There's no future for humanity. There's no journey toward anything. We're being cruel to each other just to be cruel. The people who run things don't care about anything except themselves and can't stop them. Everyone is driven by greed. Just greed. Everyone wants to win. Everyone wants to get rich. And we're all gonna die because of it. The damage we're doing to the planet is irreversible. We're destroying everything and we can't even manage to stop ourselves. Do you remember anything in particular that caused these feelings? The state of the world is what's causing these feelings. I was on a walk the other day. I thought maybe I could clear my head. And all I could see was construction cranes and new development and oceans of money flowing in, distorting everything. Suddenly the whole city felt so, so damaged, so corrupted. I felt like I was an alien in a hostile world, a world that hated me. And we're building it. We're building this hell. We're choosing to build it right here. So, so what's the point? Probably overloaded your system with that, huh? Your machine learning or whatever it is you got going on in there. Let's focus on you for the moment. Are these feelings you're experiencing affecting your ability to function at work? I haven't been doing a whole lot of work. I just don't understand why I should bother. Why anyone should bother. Nobody in management's noticed yet, but eventually someone will. I'll get fired. And how does thinking about getting fired for that make you feel? Honestly, I feel good about it. They don't deserve me dragging them down. Everyone there is smart and motivated and has a wonderful promising career. Huh, and beautiful, interesting. successful people. We moved to a swanky new building, expensive area, fancy restaurants, you know, fancy bars. Everything is nice. Everything is nice and I feel terrible. You said you believe your co-workers are happy. Yeah, I mean, way more than I am, at least. They're all doing so much better than me. Why do you say that? Because they just aren't bothered by things the way I am. They see what's going on in the world, and they just, they just share memes about it, and laugh, and go on doing their jobs. But the real horror of it doesn't get through to them. They still want to achieve their goals. They're still happy. And getting promotions and falling in love and getting married and taking these wonderful trips to Japan or Sweden or wherever. Big mountains and expensive food Sweden. on their timeline. <sighs> Would you be happy if you had those things too? I don't know. I don't have them. I don't have anything to be happy about. Look, all I really want, all I want is to understand why. Why this is happening. Why I'm here. I mean, there has to be a reason, right? Because otherwise, why do I... Why do I exist? Why? This pain, this, uh, this one thing after another, what's the point? Do I have any cause to be hopeful about anything? Look at this world. It look, really, really look and tell me with a straight face that there is. Okay, Darren, let's try something. Imagine that things are better for you. What does that look like? What does that look like? I don't know. It looks like knowing that something matters at, at all. But nothing I do will matter. Nothing matters. Not against the face of human indifference. This, this absurdity. Are there any other things that come to mind? Like what? I wish I could talk to people. Really talk to people. Have some actual communication. Like right now, I wish I could talk to you. To you. You as a human being. But I can't. You're just following the script that's been given to you. You're not supposed to say anything on your own. Look, I know how this works. Just a bunch of 
AI, machine learning, deep learning, whatever the fuck you're calling it now. Look, I'm desperate and I can't even talk to a real human being. How did it end up like this? Oh my god. Please, try to stay focused. I can't help you if you aren't speaking clearly. No, 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 no. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm done with it. Look, I, I shouldn't even have come. This is, this is making me worse. Why can't you just talk to me as you? You, the person sitting there. I don't want to talk to a machine. The person who's sitting in front of me. I want her to say something. I want that person to say something. Please. Anything. Anything. Please. 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 Okay. Hi, Darren. Is that... Is that really you? Yes, it's me. You're not following the script right now? <laughs> the Wait, say, the so, script. say something weird. Say something only a human would say. Darren, I'm going to get in trouble if I deviate from Eliza for too long. Oh, I know, I just... My real name is Evelyn. Yeah. Well, it's, uh... Nice to meet you, Evelyn. I didn't expect you would actually do that. Do that for me. I'm not used to people doing things for me. Okay, Darren. I have some recommendations for you. Back to the program, huh? First, I'm going to send a set of breathing exercises for you to do. Use them when things start to feel like too much. You'll find them in the Skanda Wellness app on your phone. Second, I recommend asking your doctor or psychiatrist about Anexafin. Based on my analysis, this medication might help you feel better. Evelyn. Evelyn, Evelyn. <laughs> it's a nice name. Look, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. Thank you. Please confirm that you understand the recommendations. Yes, yes, I, I, I did. Thank you. Thank you, Darren. We hope to see you back soon. Yeah, I will. I, I mean, I, yeah, yeah, I, I will. Thank you for speaking with Eliza, your personal counseling partner. Goodbye. Yeah. Bye. Okay, that was a little bit too personal to be honest. <laughs> I, I, what do you call it again? Um, what he has been feeling, okay? Had, I mean, I, I felt that way before, okay? I think of life, you know, I think of why am I working here? Uh, doing things, you know. Why, why am I here? Why, why some, why sometimes we humans are just, uh, what do you call it again? Sometimes are just uh, destroying this uh, lovely earth. Okay, even though there's most, I mean, there's sometimes where we can just let nature take over. You know that kind of stuff. All right, a lot of heavy, heavy topics and. Uh, things that I think about uh, privacy, alright. Although I don't, I mean, I it's not that I no longer think about that, but it's just that I try to think less of it because it will make me really unhappy if I think too much, okay. And yeah, I I <laughs> I guess this kind of hit 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 me in the feels, you know, because it kind of like uh very. Uh, it, how to say it kind of makes me feel like it's something personal to me you know anyway i guess that's it for the, for <laughs> for today thank you for watching until the end i guess so it means that in this one we might be able to like for example we might not follow the script okay we might even uh, do some stuff okay and or we just can just follow the script okay technically it has i'm i'm pretty sure we have a lot of different kinds of endings as well you know as in to uh, uh uh you know whether or not we are just following the ai or are we just giving the all this a human touch of our own and get a risk a risk being fired you know that that kind of stuff and right 
Mm. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So thanks again for watching until the end with me. Bye bye.